Hi everyone, I am so excited to be sharing this unbelievable tip with you guys today. And like the title says, select anything in your image with one click. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I am Christina Shirk. I am a professional retoucher and uh, Photoshop educator and portrait photographer based out of Washington, DC. And I cannot wait to show you what I have in store. It's really going to blow your mind and it is literally going to change. It's life changing. It's literally going to change the way you work in Photoshop regardless of whether you are a landscape photographer, a portrait photographer, or anything else, no matter what you photograph, this tip is going to change your life. So I'm really excited to share it with you. So if you'd like to follow along, there is a um, image and something else, which I'm gonna tell you about in the court, in this little class, um, which are in the link below so that you can follow along with me step by step. So without any further ado, let's get to the exciting stuff. So here is an image that I have. And what we're going to do is activate some of Adobe's new technology that they have rolled out in Photoshop 2022. And that is version 23.0.0. If I come up to my Photoshop menu and I go to About Photoshop, you can see that I am using Photoshop 23.0.0. So it has to be that version of Photoshop for this to work. So again, as I said, with one click, we are going to select anything and everything in your image. So how is that even possible? Well, the first thing that we need to do is activate our object selection tool. After we have activated the object selection tool, what we're going to do is come down to our layers palette down here in the bottom. We're gonna right click on the empty space of the layer and we're going to choose mask all objects. So once I click on this, that's when the magic happens. So what Photoshop has done in a fraction of a second is they have utilized the new object finder that we see right up here in the object selection tool and it has literally created independent masks for every single item on this image and it has created specific masks uniquely for each one of those elements and created a folder for each. I know, one click and done. It was incredible. I mean, it was more than one click, it was three clicks, but I have an option for you. I, I am going to take that even further and take it down to literally one click, select everything in your image, all right? So let me show you a little bit about the new features that have been added to the object selection tool. And then after that, I'm gonna show you a freebie and I'm gonna give you something to download which is going to take all of this amazing information and it's going to put it together for you so that all you have to do is click once and everything in your image has been selected for you. All right, so let's get back to business. <clears throat> So let's talk about our object selection tool. If you don't see it on your toolbar over here, it may be hidden down in the area down here with the flyout menu with all of your other tools. So just keep that in mind that if you don't see this little icon guy, this little box with the pointer, let me zoom in so you guys can see it. If you don't see that box with the pointer, um, it might be hidden in the rest of the tools. So it's just something to keep in mind. So what is this object select object finder? This little checkbox right here, it has been rolled out, it's new, and it uh, revolutionizes the way that this tool works. So it's utilizing the Adobe Sensei technology uh, of their machine learning engine to identify different elements in your image and as you hover and roll over them it's going to allow you with one click 
to select that object, okay? Now, you can also hold down the Shift key and you can click on multiple items if you wanted to. We could select all of them manually if we wanted to as well. I'm just gonna hit Command or Control plus D to deselect because we have literally already done all of the hard work. I'm just showing you some of the back end stuff that's going on um, as we just are working through this specific tool. <clears throat> So this is our preview, so show all objects. And what this does is it's just a quick button that you can click to highlight or just preview the overlays of the different elements that Photoshop has found in your image. And if you want to really customize this so that it's very specific to you, what you can do is you can come up here to the Object Finder settings. So for example, um, we have object subtract where you can basically go in and remove sections from your selection. We have the object finder mode. Um, every time you do this on a different image, it's going to refresh your object selection. That's what this little icon is here. So you can either have it set to manually refresh or you can have it set to auto refresh. Let's just keep it on auto for the time being. What I really wanna point out to you is that you have the opportunity to change the color overlay for your items that are potentially going to be selected. So for this situation, I like pink and purple. I know, call me, call me girly. So I'm going to choose purple for, let's go with fuchsia. Since I'm feeling a little bit crazy today, a little bit wild. And then auto show overlay, always show overlay or never. If it's on auto, what it's going to do is it's going to only show the overlay. You can see down here, it's only going to show the overlay if you're hovered over it, which is probably the most beneficial. You also have the option to create an outline, um, which might be helpful and you can increase the um, pixel range of that outline or you can do the overall opacity and modify that as well. Okay, so we have this tool. We have added some of the settings to it, which make it a little bit better and cooler. And so that is what is going to really help us through this entire uh, situation. Again, let me just, because it's so quick, I'm going to uh, select all of these folders and I'm going to go ahead and drag them to the trash. Let's just do it one more time. Um, because it is literally so quick to be done. Right click on the empty space of your background layer or whichever layer you are interested in masking the objects and you're gonna come down to mask all objects and click okay. Photoshop is gonna do its magic. It's gonna find all of the items in your image and it's going to create specific masks for them. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and click on the mask. And you can see there that it has selected part of an item, but it also has selected the entire boutonniere as well. And we have the cell phone, we have the watch, we have the box, I'm not sure what, maybe the rings are in that box. We have the left shoe and we have the right shoe. All right, this was all done with a, two clicks of the mouse, or three, technically three. So how do we get that down to one click? Well, I have created an action that is going to do the three clicks in one click for you and you can download that action below. So I'm really excited to share this with you. It's free, go ahead and download it. I really want to just share the love with everyone today. So how do we do that? I'm gonna show you how the, uh, the action works and then we're gonna go a little bit further into depth on um, the object selection tool if you wanna go a little bit manual. So you can see here that I have an action. It's called Shark Pixel Select Anything 2.0 and how do we literally turn this into a one-click fix? We're going to take our actions palette, and if you don't have your actions palette uh, active or visible, you can always come up to Window and choose Actions. Make sure it has a checkbox next, check mark next to it, 
so that you can see that it is visible. And then we're going to change our actions from normal edit mode and we're gonna put it into button mode. And the way that we get there is this, um, let me zoom in here, this little uh, four line icon thingy. If we click on that, we can choose to visualize our actions in button mode and that's what we wanna do. So let's turn button mode back on. I am going to find my action. So here is our shark pixel select anything 2.0 action and I am in button mode now. So that means that all you have to do in order to play an action is click on it once. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on our shark pixel select anything 2.0. The action is going to run. It's going to generate all of the masked layers and groups. And now the action has finished. So guys and gals, anyone that's a photographer, anyone that uses Photoshop, download this action and it will save you time. Not even, not just the Photoshop new commands are gonna save you time, but downloading this action is even going to save you more time. So I'm so thrilled to have brought this out today. I hope that you have learned something. And if you've learned something, if you've either learned about button mode, you've learned about actions, you've learned about this new amazing command and opportunity that um, Adobe has written into Photoshop 2022, version 23, um, that is what I want to share with you guys today. So if you've learned anything, please subscribe, please put a comment below and download those freebies because let's face it, they're free and they make your life easier. Is there any other reason why not to? <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the new object finder feature within the select object uh, tool in Photoshop and I will see you next time.